Hello, I am Alberto Milgo. I'm the director and designer of the new trailer for the new upcoming Watch Dogs Legion. And uh, we're going to show you a little behind the scenes. There are a number of things, of course. Uh, the visuals already, they were really interesting, sort of like punk, aggressive. And I think that the universe that you guys created is very visionary, it's, it's almost scary. Uh, so as an artist, I thought that it was very interesting to involve myself in a project that delivers such an interesting message in a human level, right? The artist was uh, in the original script that I read from the agency and it's one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this. Um, I do not consider myself an artist that engages himself in a political level. So when I saw this artist that is actually using her art in order to deliver a message, and a message that I actually like, and I think that is very beautiful into a human level, right? Reclaim your future. I thought that it was uh, fantastic. We live now in a world where we always need um, digital help, digital devices that are telling us how to go from one point to another because we have the need to be next to that digital device almost at all times, we are very vulnerable for these sort of like highly controlling societies. When I was living in London, I remember uh, there were these beautiful vintage black caps and these guys, they knew the city by heart without the need of a navigation map. And a character that doesn't need a navigation map in order to function it's almost the antithesis to the watchdogs um, universe, you know, suffocating, uh, oppressive. So a character like that is the ideal character to become a hero. London, from an aesthetic point of view, is uh, always very well created, right? It almost feels like there is a graphic designer behind everything. Anywhere that you look, there is like a speck of reds, a speck of blues. So when I saw your version of London, I was a little bit in shock because yes, it looks completely like London, but it's like a wartime, dirty, uh, out of order. And I think that that was the most interesting thing for me, trying to keep the atmosphere of the London that I know, very pure, but with those kind of like oppressive and suffocating elements of a, you know, a society that is going into the wrong direction. The most important thing that I like to do as a director, and it's something that I like to do by myself, um, is storyboarding and the animatics. Whatever I do in the animatic, it's usually a very accurate, close version to the final film. That's where I decide my shots, what the character is going to do. Basically, that's how we plan the film. Once the whole animatic is approved, we do um, you know, modeling based on the designs that I've been doing. Then we do the shadings, um, basically uh, the, the final 3D look that the character is going to have. We paint a lot of the environments based on photographs that I bring from the trips. I love fashion as well and, and clothes. And when we design characters, I was uh, working together with a stylist because that defines a lot the personality of the character. And then, uh, you know, I love cloth simulation and how organic and how everything is uh, in terms of movement. You can see how everything mo moves like flawless. And, and I love that. I like realistic animation. I don't do uh, motion capture, I never did it, but I love uh, to take an animation reference from actors or many times from myself. Um, uh, so what we do is we set cameras in different angles, close-ups, and the animator is able to see what the actor is doing. I'm obsessed with human motion, you know, how do we move? How do we originate our movements? Where is our weight? So I like to apply that into my films and make it very realistic also in terms of proportions. I like the characters with realistic proportions. I like to simplify things that they, I do not really need, but the proportions, I like to keep them real. For the sound, I, I like to keep it as pure as possible. If there is wind hitting a microphone, I don't like to clean it. I think that it's better because you're going to have a more authentic experience. So to do the sound design, I went to London and I record everything. The general murmur of the city. Also for, for the music, I wanted to be very aggressive. Uh, you know, I wanted to be uh, really energetic. And uh, it's, uh, this, this artist called Kilawatt, 
He does very murky, very dark, uh, sinister techno that I think that it was perfect for, for our message. Well, well, well. Welcome to the resistance. 